Hey, James, you should come by more often. I heard that you was quite the golfer. Well, fortunately, I've lost my golfing partner. Well, my friend, you should learn the fine art of Socrates. So, what do I owe the pleasure of this fine visit? Show him the money. Five million dollars. I want to fight with your pretty boy. So, we're looking to sit at the grown-ups table, aren't we? I hope you're not talking about Hammer Man. He's not even in Price's League. Now, I got a real deal fighter. Trust me when I tell you, he's a real deal. And I've seen Price fight. Well, it's not that easy. See, every newcomer have to go in front of the consultant. That's just how we do business. You're trying to tell me everything I did for you? You can't do this one little thing? You're asking me to vouch for you. See, the funny thing is about vouching, James, is that when you're proving yourself to be less than what you promise, every decision after that is second guess. And in my line of work, that's suicide. Besides, why does a cool, mellow fella like yourself want to hang out with a bunch of stuffy old white guys? Same reason why you hang out with these stuffy old white guys. Power. Connection. But, really, that's what it all boils down to, all right? Don't you face it. Keep it real. I'm just a cool, mellow fella. Sucking and driving, huh? Crip walking, basketball playing, taking out your garbage. That's what I am to you. Of course that's what you are to me. You are African American and my friends and I, for the most part, don't care for the company of African American. Quite frankly, we're entertained by you. The thrill of your acrobatics on your basketball court, your fine sense of rhythm and your animal athleticism. But other than that, we have no use for you. Understand? I mean, let's just face it, James. Would you set a plate at your dinner table for your pit bulls? Now, is this keeping it real enough for you, James? See, I've been a theory on the subject matter, and it goes into something like this. See, I remember a long time ago, a group of noble men unlike yourself, powerful, went out conquering the known world. That's until they got to Africa. Feeling, definitely feeling superior the savage they seen running in the jungle. That's until one of the brothers dropped as a loincloth. And now these noble men came face to face with one of life's greatest iniquities. Now after bearing witness to them, high flying acrobatics and the wonderful sense of rhythm, the animal athleticism. Not to mention those enormous large penises. These noble men came to a logical conclusion. Never put a gun in a black man's hand because he does have the right to be angry, but he might use these enormous penises on white women.